Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of Waltz Wits. Today I'm going to be talking about the My Disney Experience app, and before I get into that, I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about Main Street by Becca. She creates a bunch of different pins, like this one, and this is my favorite one that she has right now. I do have a discount code, and it's a 10% code. All you gotta do is go to her site if you want these buttons. The discount code is Michelle. I'll link everything down below for you guys. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, so over in the corner, I'm gonna be showing you guys what exactly I'm doing on my phone. Okay, so once you open the app, this is the first thing you're gonna see. It's a park map of Magic Kingdom that has all the wait times for the park, which is really cool because you get to see where everything is in the park and you can see the wait times. But here's the cool thing. If you press the bottom right hand button, it gives you all of the wait times for the attractions with the name and a picture next to it. So if you press that button again, the bottom left hand button, you can pick any of these parks. So say you want to go to Hollywood Studios, press done, and it tells you all the different attractions, how long their wait times are, and it also includes the character meet and greets, which is really cool so that way you can plan your day around that as well. As you can tell, Hollywood Studios is not very busy right now. So this is definitely one of the go-to parks if you want just kind of like a lax day because it's not as busy. Press that again. Say Epcot this time. And it tells you all the different attractions. Little Kingdom. And as you can tell, it's kind of like a slow time right now at Disney because Flight of Passage is only 110 minutes. And it's definitely worth waiting that long because it's not really 110 minutes. Alright, so let's move on. When you press on the icon of your character, it pops up with your name, your account underneath, which I'm not going to open because it's got all my account information and stuff in there. It's got park info and entry, my plans, my photos spotlight by merchandise so these are all features inside the my disney experience app so let's start off with the parks info and entry so there's four different um, places you can go on this the show times park hours your tickets and then oh sorry about that an annual pass block out the annual pass blockouts are for annual pass holders only, so it's like a blockout date calendar so you can see if your pass is blocked out that day. Uh, buy tickets, obviously you can buy tickets through this app so that way you don't have to like go up to the kiosks every single time. Park hours, it gives you the park hours for every single day. So today it tells you like what time the park opens and closes, what magic hours, um, what magic hours the park has that day. So today, Thursday, it is Epcot from 8 to 9 a.m. And then it also tells you what time the boardwalk is open, Disney Springs, which water park is open. Um, tells you, you can click on about ma extra magic hours. <clears throat> and it gives you like a little description about the extra magic hours. And it also tells you what rides, attractions, and everything that are closed down for refurbishment. Okay, so for my plans uh, to get fast passes, all you gotta do is press the get fast pass button and it takes a minute to load. Okay, so you can currently see that I have three fast passes for Saturday and then a friend of mine has fast passes for a different Saturday. So anybody who you have linked to your My Disney Experience account, you can see all their fast passes. And as you can tell, I have a lot of friends on here. College alumni problems. And then to make fast passes, you'll have to watch another video where I explain how to do all of that, which will be coming either next week or the week after. Also on this app, you can make dinner reservations for any restaurant on property. Now, it is very, very difficult to get certain reservations for certain restaurants, which I'll do also in another video, but basically all you gotta do is type the, or press the plus sign for however many people are in your party, and I'm just gonna put one for now. Press whatever day you want, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and then it brings up 
all of the different restaurants that you can make a reservation for and the times that they have available. And I might point out, for those of you who do know how to use the My Disney Experience app, there is reservations available for Saturday for Be Our Guest for Breakfast. So if anybody is looking for guests uh, for reservations for that, it's at Be Our Guest it's on the app. Go get them. <laughs> okay, and then ordering food. I'm gonna also do another episode about all of like the mobile ordering and explaining how to go more in depth with that, but you can also do mobile ordering, and these are just some of the restaurants that you can mobile order at, which looks like all of the quick service food places now at um, all of the parks, and then one at Disney Springs. And then you can also link your dining and link your hotel if you've already made um, reservations through a Disney travel agent or um, you booked it online you can link those onto your my disney experience so that way you have them on your um account and then you can also call to book a hotel which i think is pretty cool so that way you don't have to use the computer okay so another really good thing about the app is you can see all of the photos you take on your vacation since i am an annual pass holder and i have the gold plus pass i do get to get all my photos because it is included but you can get the my the what is it called you can get the photo pass um, addition to your packages so that way you can get all your photos and I honestly would suggest getting them, that package at the last day of your trip so that way you have all of the photos from your trip so you're not wasting money every single day of your trip. But all you gotta do is click see all photos <clears throat> and I've noticed this part of the app has been kind of wonky lately because I guess so many people have been using it. So it might take a second for this part to load. I don't know if it's gonna load. But you can also link your photos and also do the PhotoPass code. So when you're at PhotoPass, sometimes if you don't have your key or a magic band, they'll give you like a little um, paper, plastic um, pass card, and you can just scan it from your phone so that way you can get your photos on your app. And since, as you can tell, I can't see my photos right now, um, they're, they're there. I've gotten them recently. I don't know why it's not working for me, but that's how you would get them. Spotlight is basically going to be anything that is um, extra for a ticket for like a special event. So uh, Disney After Hours, the Christmas... Um, party, the Halloween party, um, that's all going to be under the spotlight. As you can tell right now, After Hours is going on. I really want to go, but I cannot afford it. But if you want to get tickets for that, you can buy them for uh, yourself through the app. Right? And then the last part is buying merchandise. So you have to download a separate app for this. It's the Shop Disney Parks app, but basically you can type in, like, say you see a t-shirt that you want, you can type in, um, Mickey vintage t-shirt or something like that and it'll tell you exactly where you can find that specific shirt where it is how much it is let me see if I can get it to work yeah no it's not gonna work because I don't have the app anymore another cool thing that I forgot to add okay so we're on the animal kingdom it's got the attractions it tell this is the cool part of the app oh hold on Magic Kingdom. They're still open. You go to the characters portion and it tells you exactly what characters are at that park. So for Magic Kingdom they've got like Ariel, Buzz Lightyear, Cinderella, Daisy, Donald, Alana, Elena, Lana, don't know how to pronounce her name, uh, Goofy, Minnie, Mickey, and then Rapunzel, Tiana, Tigger, Tinkerbell, Winnie the Pooh. Uh, they also have Peter Pan which used to be on here but it's not anymore which I find very very interesting. And then you can see what dining uh, Magic Kingdom offers or whatever park you're looking at on the app. Where all the restrooms are which is really nice because for those of you who are new and have never been to Disney there's bathrooms everywhere. Just like there's trash cans everywhere. That's why you don't see that much trash all over the floor. It also gives you um, a list of all the entertainment for that park. So you can go through and see 
uh, what time happily ever after is the main street philharmonic philharmonic at main street all this fun stuff that they have at magic kingdom also see what tours they offer for the parks which is pretty cool because i want to take a tour really badly but it tells you like what um tours they have and it gives you the price per person so that also helps so if you want to do one of these save up because they're pretty expensive Photo pass, it tells you where all the photo pass places are so you can take uh, photos at different parts of the park and what attractions have photo pass attached to them. It tells you where all the guest services are, the ATM, ba uh, baby care, car care, car rentals, AEDs, which is very, very important. If you're ever in a park, always know where the AEDs are just in case if somebody does kind of know pass out their heart stops at least you know where the AEDs are and I know for a fact because I used to work with somebody who taught us how to use the AEDs that there is a button that you can learn how to use one if you've never used it before so you can potentially save somebody's life but always find a cast member to help you they also have the option for resorts recreation shops spa and all that fun stuff and if you're looking for something specific, you can um, go to the top part and type in search. So, um, say you're looking for Ariel. Type it in. First thing that shows up is meet Ariel at her grotto. And then for some reason, it's got all these different restaurants <laughs> underneath it and then her ride. So it's fairly fr uh, user friendly. I absolutely love this app. So I hope you guys learned a little bit about something um, from this video. If you guys have any more questions, leave them down below. I can kind of go into more detail, but that's basically pretty much it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys next week for another Waltz Wits video. Remember, live your life on the brink. Bye guys. Also a Disney travel agent. Bye.